Hey guys, if you like this video, consider subscribing, then hitting the bell icon right next to it in order to get notified when I upload videos in the future. Until then, enjoy. Picture this, you're going on vacation and you just visited a whole bunch of interesting sites or walked around an amusement park. And after a long day, you just want to chill in bed and relax. Maybe watch some TV, and yet they only have crappy TV channels. Stuff you barely even watch anymore. And you wish you want to watch your movies and TV shows back home that you have on probably a hard drive or a server, but you don't have your laptop or have all those cables to hook up onto the back of your TV. And not to mention it's already a pain in the <laughs> to have all that luggage you're carrying around everywhere. Putting all that hardware on top of that just makes it a nightmare. But there is one way that you can circumvent that by taking the Raspberry Pi once again and making it into something cool. And this time, we're going to take a look at how to put the program Razplex on this little machine and make it easier to watch any movie or TV show you have at home easily watchable on the go. Now, if you don't know what Plex is, I already did a previous video on that, so you can watch it. But I recommend going to their website to see what it's about first. But if you already know what Plex is, let's continue on to this project. The first thing we're going to need is of course our Raspberry Pi. Now granted, whichever Raspberry Pi you buy online, it should always come with the necessary hardware that you're going to need to run it, which includes a micro SD card and a power strip. Of course, you can always look for micro SD cards online or at your local big box store. They're plenty cheap to get. But if you want an inexpensive and more travel friendly power strip, I highly encourage getting those ones that can roll up, so they're simple to pack and easy to unravel. As for video, you're going to need an HDMI cable. There are plenty of loose ones out there, but depending on what hotel you stay at or where you're going to go to to use this thing, I recommend getting a loose one for travel purposes. There are plenty of ways you can find them online or at Walmart or something. And lastly, the keyboard that we're going to use. We're going to need this for the initial setup, but there are plenty of ways to be able to move Razplex as soon as we're done installing you can find out on their website. Of course, I'll always put links in the description below. I should also note that with the more recent Raspberry Pi devices, they come with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. So if you have an older version of the Raspberry Pi, you're gonna need to go out of your way to buy adapters for it. Just a note to consider if you already have an older version of it. I also recommend looking up wired twist ties in case you don't wanna lose anything or have it all wrapped up in one package. So if you're traveling, you won't lose it. So for this tutorial, it's going to be a little bit easier than the last Raspberry Pi tutorials that I went through. So we don't have a maximum tips pack for this one. Instead, we're just going to go to a website known as Razplex. They made it incredibly easy for anyone to get started with their software. So we're just going to go to Get Razplex or Get Started. Doesn't really matter. And just select Windows so you can download the Windows version of this. Also note that if you're going to use Razplex to view your media, you're going to need a Plex server account, which is free to sign up on their website, Plex.tv, which I already went over in a previous video. Once you downloaded Razplex, we're going to hook up our micro SD card to our computer, and then we're going to open the setup. In step one, make sure you select the Raspberry Pi that you want to use. If it's a Raspberry Pi 2 or beyond that, like 3 or the 3 Plus, just select Raspberry Pi 2. Their website has a lot of information for what's supported. Next, we're going to download the image. Depending on your internet speed, it might take a while. This is just the easiest method. So once you have that, select our SD card, make sure you have formatted it, and then click Write SD Card, and Razplex should begin writing to it. Just wait until it says Done, and then you can detach your micro SD card. So once the program's on our micro SD card, we're going to hook up our Raspberry Pi by inserting the micro SD card in the slot, putting in the HDMI cable into the Pi and in the TV, inserting our USB or keyboard attachment, and then plugging it in. On the screen, the Razplex icon should appear. Just let it be for now. And once it does its thing, the welcome screen should appear. 
press the enter button. And then we should be at the networking page. Now you're going to select a Wi-Fi hotspot and then enter the password. It should then connect. Once you do that, select next. You can select next on this one. It doesn't really matter to beginners. Then we'll see a calibrate screen. This is just to adjust the size of the screen, but in very rare cases, you'll need to do this. So just select next. And then finally, we'll get to the Plex login screen. All you have to do is log into your Plex account on your phone or another computer, and then go to that URL and enter the PIN number that you see on the screen. And then Razplex should have access to your account. See, that's simple. The one last thing we can look at is pre-caching, which means overall faster library browsing and better performance, since all the images will be loaded automatically. You can do it anytime under preferences, but we might as well do it now. This will go fast if you don't have a lot of media in your server. Just keep that in mind that if you do, then it could take a little bit. But after that, Plex should load like normal. As you can see, it's the old menu system, which is fine. If you are being shared content from another server, it'll be under shared content. Just select where and what you want to play, and it should load like normal. I always like this band. But as you can see, Plex plays like normal, with all the controls on the bottom and all that jazz. But just like streaming from any other place, your connection may vary. But think of it as a simple way to access your Plex library from home or anywhere really. So do yourself a favor and get one of the easiest ways to view your media from any location. A little mini computer named after a pie. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more Plex related stuff on my channel, check out the last video I made on how to add DVDs to your Plex library. I'll be making stuff related to this piece of software in the future. Trust me on that.